These new, have you ever caught any of the new martial arts movies? No. They're f terrible. Really? Yeah. I want to see it. There is a vast difference between practicing self-defense and actually fighting. Fighting is unpredictable and violent. This was such a wild time. To be effective. Is when this nobody, kung fu movies? Defense, kung fu movies and just... Simple and direct. When people thought all this fake shit worked. Yeah. Before the UFC. Give me your rice. Yeah, give him your rice. I'll take your rice. I calculator. See you later, guys. Surprise opponents. Initiate attack with a front kick to the stomach. Crane head strike to face. Snap your wrist to increase power. Oh, that one. Tiger claw to chin, elbow to Crazy. Crane head. Torque action in the waist will increase power. Lock, then uppercut to groin. Why is he doing it? An open hand like this. <laughs> double punch. Kiss the man. Different targets simultaneously. The old double punch. <clears throat> yeah, double punch and crane. Like, three of those moves were like never again used. Like, uh, mm -hmm. all shit. Doesn't Joe Rogan, like, hate this shit? Yeah. He, like, hates this shit, right? Yeah. That's kind of funny. I wonder if Asians, like Chinese men, hate Joe Rogan. They probably do. Probably well, hit, fuck Joe Rogan, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I think they uh, uh, hit pause, Chris. Have you seen, um, there's a Chinese MMA artist who, he, uh, he, he makes a, his career is debunking traditional Chinese martial arts, and he's been, like, unpersoned from the Chinese system, like he's totally blacklisted, can't get oh, an apartment, no. he can't get a, get a job or anything. Um, Good, he should come to the United States. He can be a comedian. <clears throat> Look up Chinese UFC versus Qigong. China, this one, this third one right here. What's his name? His name's like Wolf Man. The guy, in the, that's him on the right. The guy there. on the right? They, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got, have, you, have you not seen this? Nope. <laughs> this is so cool. I hope it's exactly what I think it is. Oh, you see. He's like, come on, rice priest. <laughs> that's what he calls monks, mm -hmm. rice priests. <laughs> What's inspired this video was a recent story in which a Tai Chi master fought an MMA fighter. All right, in we're gonna have skills. to absolutely pause <laughs> this, this fucking fight science factory. Can you scroll down? And is there a link to the original video? I can't stand this fucking shit. Also, oh, um, let's look at the description and see if we can see his name in here. Uh, it doesn't even show the guy's uh, name. This is so this is so right lazy. There. Shu Zhidong. X I A Dong. Top line right there. Fight science my ass. What look what is the where do we what does it look like? Oh, that guy's hair is nuts. Do you see that? No. <laughs> this, <I guess. laughs> That's Vice News. Look at the Oh look my at the, god. It's they got play. Derek they got Derek Beckles to be the uh reporter. Can you believe mm. that? Try the try the first one. Because it's got that other clip that I like in it of the woman woman Xu getting wrecked. Xiaodong. AKA the man God damn it. Out there. Have you, no, no, go no, back, go, go back, go back. Have you seen that one, Nick? It's a... Oh. <laughs> okay. What happens? This is oh, a different yeah. thing, but they're tight they're channeling Tai Chi force fields here. So they really just took that guy out using this type of motion. So to to Show the rest. Video God video damn it, man. Fucking no bullshit. Fuck. No Okay, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. This is incredible. This old man is just, he's drawing spiritual power from the earth. How the hell is he doing that? I don't know how the hell he's doing that. This is going to be awesome when this guy thinks he's going to beat up this little old man. Yeah, this little old man's about to steamroll this dude. <laughs> this, fucking, this. Oh, this is the shit right here. Let's shake my hand. Why doesn't he just use the force fields? Ugh. Oh, he got snuffed. What's Corey from Pawn Stars doing in the <laughs> ring? 
So the school is Tai Chi. That he's, that's his thing. It's uh, Qigong. It's Qi manipulation. It's spiritual. He's bringing up, bringing up energy from the ground to repel this guy with no touch. Oh, oh it's man! It's not working. <laughs> wait, wait. You, turn the, <laughs> you have to turn the force field on, dude. You forgot to hit the on switch. Something's gone wrong here. This is awesome. Yeah. I love when white people and black people too, when Americans get into this shit. Yeah. It's fucking beautiful. It's like church shit. Yeah. This is awesome. Oh, what's that lady gonna do? I hope she gets this her teeth shit is out. awesome. Oh yes. Oh, that's fucking incredible. Oh, I wish you put sand in his mouth. <laughs> Dude, fuck. He didn't know how to hit. Should have went through him. He should have dropped his legs around through. I would have fucking laid that motherfucker out. You know, Chai things bring. This guy's awesome. The yeah. guy on the left. He's a piece of shit, man. Oh, that's me. Oh, he got me. I forgot about that clip. Watch oh. this one. This is the best one. <laughs> yes! I like these. Yes! They look like Australians. <laughs> yes, man. All right, Craig, you ready? This is fucking awesome. The mind of one of these guys. Oh, that is fucking awesome. That is so... And look at the guy now. He's pretending like he felt the chi force after he hit her. So he's still trying to keep up the charade that it works. Uh, man, crackheads are a duel. Do anything for 150 bucks for a day, huh? Just fucking awesome. <laughs> man, you know, stabbings are crazy. St stabbings are crazy? Yeah. What do you mean? There's like... Um, stabbings are crazy. What's gonna happen here? I wish it would stop saying reality. I don't want to be prepared for what happens. Yeah, I was like, come on, Pat, fucking throw yourself through the mirror. This guy should just deck this dude. This is my dream, though, is teaching women this fake shit. Yeah. And then charging at them full speed and They're laying them out. Oh, yeah. Please let this guy get beat up. Yes. Man. Do you ever wonder why Taekwondo is like the most popular for like getting kids into martial arts? Yeah, because it's like, um, it's just like summer camp bullshit. Yeah. It's like a, I got roped into that too. Confidence building. Hey, great job, Chris. Yeah. Awesome kicks. And then you get to kick a board, like a piece of like uh, yeah. balsa wood at the end or, or yeah, like yeah. a wooden shingle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's kind of cool though. When they have I movies broke some about boards. Yeah. Yeah. They were about this thick. What kind of boards? Snapped right through. When you were um, doing uh, Taekwondo? Taekwondo, yeah. Recently? How recently? Inside the last 24 months? <laughs> no. Junbi! Hiya! Ah! 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 You're doing your kata? Was that your kata? Let me see if I can remember how to count. Hana, dual set, net, dasit, yasit, ilgup, yo, dual, op, yul. Damn. What's that? That's one to ten in Korean, I think. That's awesome. <clears throat> oh, man, you're like a Korean guy. Hasn't you? But the kicks do work, though. That's the thing. But um, Joe Rogan has talked about. It. I the first time I got um, in a in some beef, I just got laid out. I got I got punched because um, what Taekwondo does is it f it fucks <clears throat> up your range horribly mm -hmm. because you think you're gonna be able to kick someone, but you're not gonna be able to kick someone. How old were you when you did that? Like twenty. No shit. I was twenty. I was twenty when I got when I got smacked. Um, and like didn't know what didn't know how to handle it afterwards but i did the taekwondo in high school i wasn't 20 when i was doing taekwondo oh right but i just that was still like my idea of what self defense was oh it's kick let's use kicks it's you're not kick. going to use a kick you're not going to kick anybody no you're not going to kick anybody it's it's watch kid catch your foot doesn't work yeah which i've had that happen to me before yeah you ever get, you ever get your, your foot caught it's just oh, yeah. get wailed on oh man like i thought most of my fighting was from like 13 to 17
Yeah. But then not much after that. I like the well with uh once once you realize once you know how to how to punch as well, kicks are really effective and awesome and cool. But Taekwondo only teaches you how to kick. So you think everything you think you know about defense, first of all, you've never tried it because the only thing the only thing they do is point sparring. Like if you even go that far to do point sparring, which is not which is just fake shit. And then um Everything is like this range, like five feet. So I'll be like bouncing like this. And I'll do question Achoo! mark kicks. Right. Which are not question mark kicks. They're like yeah. comma kicks. Yeah. Because they're low. Yeah. <laughs> just I'm just kicking your hips. Backslash on the keyboard kicks. <laughs> oh. I mean, shin uh, kicks. Like this is like the effects of my I'd probably get, I'd probably get kick to the shin. <laughs> and then I'd be like, yeah, I'm fucking beat. And then I did Kung Fu too, which was also uh, totally fake and a waste of time. Kung Fu? Yeah, and my Kung Fu instructor was a, um, he assaulted one of his students uh, years later. A uh, guy or a girl? Ca a gr uh, he assaulted a woman. How did he do it? I don't know, probably held her down. <laughs> I have no idea. But we gotta, we gotta look him up, because I don't think I've shown people him before. His name's Callis Hands. Is he? Maybe I have shown him. I think, he, I think like a the long Dominican time. Dominican guy? Yeah. The guy who runs the uh, Taekwondo in Rhode Island mm -hmm. is Mastery. Mm -hmm. And it's like franchised. Mm -hmm. He's got a private jet. Oh yeah. It's like he's he's like the man. Damn. He makes like mad money. Damn. I know. I thought about it. I was like, holy shit. Damn. You go to my my one of my nephews. I went to his uh his like kind. It was kind of it was kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, like little kids little kids doing karate is just kind of cute. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. You know, I don't, honestly, all that shit. God, fucking. I was gonna become a parent. As much as like as stupid as it is, like. I don't know if I even want my kid taking like, I don't know if I'd want him in MMA. Right, right. Like, like kids are fucking dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like, if you've ever been friends with like a really bad kid mm -hmm. with bad parents, mm -hmm. knowing what I know, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd want my son to know how to like fucking break a nose. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like that's fucking just lawsuits coming down in your pipeline. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but like little kids spinning around and doing back kicks and saying hi yads is like kind of sweet. Yeah, it's just like you know, it's like yeah, I like to spin around, fucking yeah, kids, yeah. Little, give them a little fleck of confidence and something to do, some friends. I mean, the downside is that they think this fake thing yes. works, and then they go get their ass kicked, like I did. Mm. Did you really believe that it was going to work? Like you thought, like no, you, I just oh, wasn't, I wasn't at all prepared for a, a fight. physical fight. Like you weren't prepared for like a bar fight. It was not, not a, no, not at all. Like you were like, watch, this guy's gonna stand five feet away from me, mm. and then he'll get his gi on first, probably before we start fighting. Mm -hmm. And he'll do his breathing, breathing warm ups. He'll bounce around a little bit. Mm -hmm. He'll do a little <sighs> like that type of thing. Gee, There'll be a referee there. Yeah, saying that. Yeah. Gee. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. That's what I thought. Don't play the music I like. Kickboxing music. You'll have your Red Haynes brief son, like John Claude Van Damme. I'll be dancing around with a boner. You just have a hard on of you. just grab. Oh no, I have a boner. Oh, you just grabbing the instead of fighting, you just grab the closest girl to you and you rub your boner on her ass. Hey Chris, would you type in Calazan? C A L A S A N Z. <laughs> Callous ants. Uh, wow, yes. Oh, he's he's still working in 2021. He's got a promo come to Callous ants 2021. Like he didn't rip someone. What? Scroll down. What's it's in the comments? Big What's, in the comments? <laughs> What's in the comments of that? No, no, no. Uh, 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 What's in the comments? Do people even say? America. Nobody even says. You, you do the SSI. Us. Big Papa you Potato. What's you do the <laughs> SSI? <laughs> That's uh, I'll I'll retell that story in a second. But scroll up. What you got? Oh, he's teaching logic. Um, yeah, right. No matter that come from karate, kung fu. Don't think so, my guy. Um, is he Brazilian? MMA. I am probably the first to teach MMA on early age. No, you're and not. <laughs> you're not the first to teach not, MMA. He's tired. He's, he's tired. he's got his sweatpants on, his sweater. Teaching reality. Teaching police officers. Is this like the Dr. Sebi of martial arts? How to, How to fight. fight. Fighting is very simple. Not to get hurt, primarily, and to take something home with you. This is the main thing that you learn. Be coordinated for the rest of your life. Good golly. Um, and, and here is the example. Uh, there are a lot of examples I can, but Robert don't have too long out here. 
And if you see him doing the dumb, you're doing a hoist that I, that I hope that he's gonna do it soon, uh, um, then you know. You this know poor who's kid. Uh, he's probably gonna uh, kick the shit out of everybody <laughs> later on. To take something home with you. That take something home with you. Every technique is seen gay. at Kalazan is unique in comparison with all. If we do a kata, and another person on karate do a kata, or a taekwondo, our kata is different. Just understand, unique on power, on ground, on core. That old guy, you see Did him? you see what he was wearing? Uh, yeah. He looked like me right now. He looked like he was going to do a business deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he's going to a closing. <laughs> this shit is awesome. Oh, man. Like you know what's it. weird? Can you tell how oh. kind of the interior is? It's kind of nice in there? Yeah, he's got like yeah, he's got an octagonal. Uh, and there's like a stone wall. Chandelier. And... Yeah, the building looked kind of cool. If it's That's in... what always kind of weirded me out because he's he's this like to be Dominican guy. He, you can't. My teaching he, does, he barely says one word Anyone that you can understand yeah and he's doing this like came over here you see what he's doing look at that you get the whale yeah, tail damn, damn. And watch me training. but he's got a like, so good taste somehow do sort of yeah you know for a martial arts school yeah yeah, yeah. no i saw the uh, he's got plants he's got a nice vase and that was on the 90 on the me 80s this guy's crazy the 80s that people come to see and spend one day to pay me to spend one day watching because it's human I'm not going to show right now soon what is the unique that you're going to see it right away. If you are ready to learn martial art, real martial art, ready to feel I like safe, this. to feel confident <laughs> on the street. I like him jabbing the kid. Come yeah. Kalazan. Just come to Kalazan and get your free session. That tell you who or what I should go train here. Gonna teach you. That tell come you who tell you or what going to change you. Now. Come today to get you free session, cause it's gonna tell you who or what is gonna change you. Yo, he he knows the thing or two about changing people. Yeah, he's gonna change. Yeah, it's change your clothes to Nate to nothing. <laughs> Why don't you go put on your birthday suits? <laughs> uh, Deborah, my favorite client, client, student, pupil. Wow. And the crazy thing, maybe do um. He had this. It, whenever he would move, click 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 beauty. Yeah, that's probably the girl he can. No, I think he I think he got like a forty year old woman. Like a not hot lady? He got like a not hot lady, I think. After all that pussy he was working with? Yeah. He decided to strike and uh That's fucking weird. <laughs> this guy is man, this guy's body is so And it's strange. Up. Yeah, he's so Is strange. he short? He's short, yeah. Like little little, like yeah, five little four? Guy. Yeah, yeah. Like five two. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. That's, that's a business card. I don't even understand how he's got anyone doing graphic graphic design or videos for him. Like, how does he even rope rope people into doing this for him, you know? Yeah, he said he'll probably, probably extorts them. He's like, just do it or I'll kick your ass. <laughs> hey, you do graphic design? It's where he goes to, like, the staples. Yeah. Do it or I'll come back here, I'll kick all your asses. <laughs> yeah. Do my Kung Fu Studio graphic design. Ah, three and one. <laughs> what are the cranes? The breathing. Yeah. Some hop. I just want to let you know, Kalazans, I shaved it this morning. All right. <laughs> ah, ah. I like the crane arms. Listen, are you hearing him breathing? He would do that in the fucking school when you're trying to work out. That's fucking wild, dude. Bro. <laughs> yeah, at least you learned deep breathing exercises. That's something there's something, there's something in there. I definitely took something home with me. You can take his breath home with you. <laughs> yeah, I took his fucking Dominican breath home yeah, with you. Ah, uh, sorry, I have a piece of rice in my teeth. <laughs> Yellow rice. <laughs> yeah, it's like all Spanish food. <laughs> his teeth, he's fucking breathing all over you. I'm, I know how deep he's breathing. Yeah. Damn. Rocco uh, Quattrochi was in Atlantic City, and someone ran up to him from the podcast. Oh, no way. I thought that was cool. He's got his c*** out right here. Oh, my God. And he's looking back to check on his partner his and ass. make sure that she's <laughs> safe. He's looking at his own ass. Yeah, he's like, man, you like my bubble bot? Bro. Sam, I don't want to tell you, but I don't think you were just getting kung fu. I don't think I was either. 
I think I got something else. Come here, high school boy. <laughs> what did you learn on your computer? <laughs> Nothing, Dr. Sensei. <laughs> Nothing, Dr. Sensei Kalazans. He's making you call him doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Hyde. Dude, he's kind of rubbing his fucking dick into the carpet. Yeah. It'd be awesome if he came all over. Look at the fucking hair. Like the. Well, I don't think I don't think he was a gay. I think he just. No, he was doing just like, a regular. <laughs> just a regular. Role. <laughs> he was um. Just a regular run of the mill. Yeah, just your normal horny guy with an oversized dick. <laughs> just in a just a Dominican guy who has no problem whatsoever <laughs> showing you his cock, which is every adult Dominican guy <laughs> I've ever met uh, will show his dick within hours. Mm -hmm. Like the Dominican guy I used to work with. Mm -hmm. I work with him for like fucking three months, bro. I saw his dick like six times. Mm. Oops. <laughs> I remember he'd be showing like, he'd be like, oh, yo, yo, look at this hot girl. She got tits. Yo, look at the tits. Yo, yo, oops. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, you scramming across pictures of your thing is gay. Oh, <clears throat> man. It was like a nice, easy apparatus to get on and off. It <laughs> 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 was a nice way to do fucking, uh, oh, man. Just fucking 65 pounds on your fucking ankles taped mm -hmm. with... <laughs> Super split. Man, that was a crazy, crazy time. The 80s and 90s, you could just go to like Hong Kong. And if you had like, if you could, if you were, if you dedicated a little bit of your life to like bodybuilding. Yeah. And doing like a little, you could like get famous. There's an exercise video contract in, in it for you. Yeah. Look at the, um, I mean, you could, you could have made yourself, if that was what, if that was your bag, you could have made yourself into like anybody in yeah. the 80s and 90s. I think Hollywood like was like hunting for them. Yeah, from the success of Bruce Lee. Well, you've heard this. You've heard the story about Frank Dukes. He's just full of shit. Full, full of shit, and they they sued him. They bought the Bloodsport story, thinking it was a real story. Oh man, which is pretty fucking That's funny. Wicked man. fucking funny. So the story, the Bloodsport Bloodsport movie, which everybody should watch, and is an incredible movie. It's this guy Frank Dukes, who went to the Kumite, which was an illegal fighting tournament where he fought 100 men in two days or something like that okay and he can break bricks he can break glass he does all this shit so he wrote he he sold his story to a screenwriter um and he's the fictitious life of frank dukes don't click that because i don't want to hear about this guy but he said he was in the cia he was said he was a special ops guy he said all this other shit they bought his story they made they made the movie blood sport and then when they found out it was fake they sued him which is funny i mean it was a great why, why sue the guy he made a great movie Fuck yeah off. But um, okay, sorry, your writers fucking suck dick. Yeah, so Calazans had a, had assigned Frank Dukes something. He had like two size and a plaque that was signed by Frank Dukes. And you know, you, with this type of shit, you'd never even know. Like Calazans might have signed it himself, Frank yeah. Dukes or something like that. But um, and like uh, Jean Claude Van Damme was fascinated by Frank Dukes because he was also Canadian, I guess, or French Canadian or whatever. Yeah, it's a good name. That's a good Dukes yeah. is a cool name. So anyway, it's just uh. All this shit. You could have been anybody that you wanted in the whole wide world. Look at the, uh, what, the, hold on, 90s. the brothers, the barbarian brothers or the barbarian twins. Mm -hmm. They live near me in Situate. They're two wrestlers, same thing. Mm -hmm. And they call themselves barbarian twins. It's kind of like the liver king now, but nowadays yep. it's a little bit gayer. Oh, barbarian man. Barbarian brothers. David Paul was my customer. Like these guys, watch oh, this shit. Baby. Another frequent visitor to Gold's, David Paul of the notorious Barbarian Brothers. The reason we first came to California was we wanted to be the best bodybuilders. See, I was from the East Coast, from Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the smallest state in the United States. In fact, it's so small, the last year they had the entire state carpeted. Just kidding. Anyway, um, we came out here because the this guy's funny we too. We wanted to just get, get big and bre break the stereotypes of bodybuilders, that they're gay, narcissistic, that they look strong, but they're weak. But we tried, but they were all true, so we couldn't break the stereotype. <laughs> this, <laughs> this guy's fucking I awesome. Said, What's yeah. going on? What can I do? I've been hopping around like a kangaroo. No, so what happened was, <laughs> these guys are laughing. I mean, this is serious stuff, bodybuilding. He's from Citroën? Wow, bro. Yeah, he, he came into my fucking shop one day. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. This guy, like, gets out, like, go to the, the go, if you go back, Another uh, right there, the David Paul Barbarian brother. He's like, yeah, I'm making an, a UFC picture. 
And uh, I didn't know there were twins. I thought there was only one of them. So he comes in, he buys like $500 worth of stuff at my store. Uh huh. An old cool deco coffee maker, a big piece of like wood that I had. And he's like, yeah, I'm building a barn. Kind of like mine. Like Gary Busey. Look at that fucking image. That's awesome. Jesus Christ. So he starts telling me that he's making movies and he's a, you know, And he starts asking me if he wants to hang out. And I was like, nah, man, I don't, I don't, I don't hang out with anybody. And he's like, what do you mean? And he got like jerked off and I told him I didn't want to hang out with him. Because yeah. he kind of asked me if he wanted to like, because oh, I was talking about TV and shit. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I do TV too. I'm a street poet. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, man, I'm kind of a fucking street poet. I just, I, I make art with what I see. But now I kind of feel bad because they were kind of like really interesting people. Yeah. But he bought a bunch of shit for me. And then he came and picked everything up, and then he had an Airbnb, kind of like near my house. Yeah. And he put pictures of his like girlfriend in the tub, like naked. Yeah. Look at the like, she looks like Juliet Lewis on the left. <laughs> Yo, I've I've uh I've seen this guy. Yeah. I saw him at the gym. Yeah. I think you might have been there. Can you can we keep going and see if there's pictures of him now? Yeah, he looks like that now, like that one of that him emaciated. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I there was a guy at the gym who had the, it was him. He had the the wrapper on his head. He had his hair was like dripping, like Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean or something. He was big. He was um, covered in uh, like he had like fucking Robin's jeans or something. Like the he looked yeah like this type of yeah bohemian outfit shit. And he was walking around with his cell phone um, on his head, but the flash was on. And I thought he was like recording people secretly. I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah, he was like bugging. Um, Bugging everybody out, walking around like being a, a weirdo. Basically, is he, is he reared behind the neck pressing three eighty five? I don't know. Do you know how fucking <laughs> like are you fucking mm. you seated behind the neck pressed three eighty five? Mm. That's got to be a world record. What a crazy! But like like crazy, dude. You look in this guy's eyes; there's like holes in his head. Mm -hmm. Um, just a real wild. Had a dog. But then he started doing, started talking to me like he was this guy. How strange! And he did this movie. Seen him for sure. Holy shit! Yeah, that's him. That's crazy. So then I'm at fucking Brimfield, and I see him walking his fucking dog, and I'm like, "Yo, you gotta." He brought stuff and didn't take it with him, mm -hmm. so he gave me like a deposit. And I was like, "Yo, man, you gotta come get the shit that you bought for me." It's been there for like six months, mm -hmm. and he's like, "I have no idea what you're talking about," and he was the twin brother. I was talking to the twin brother. Whoa. You met. It may, it may disturb you or you're not comfortable, but if I'm happy what is this in shot? body, doing, His knees? dressing the way I am, being who I am, why not be happy for me and go, hey, that guy's weird, but isn't he happy? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Do you think that's a bad thing to be happy? Huh? But if you went to a mental institution, they're going to go, you know, what's wrong with you? Why are you always happy? We have to give you some meds. You know why? Because you're manic. And then if you're depressed, you know, you're a little depressed. I think we should give you a pill because... You know, you know, you should be much happier. And why is that shirt on backwards? Why, look at my shirts on backwards. You know, why, but, but I was creating a line of clothes called Inside Out because it's not to the top. The sports in sports, wow. you're, you, you know. Let's move on. Uh, Let's pick no, a new topic you don't need here. barbarian twins. Oh, barbarian twins.